Hi Scorpio, welcome to your What Lies Ahead reading for April 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is intended to take into account what is going on globally right now with the pandemic, Ronageddon as I call it, um, as well as uh, intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Again, with the influence of what's going on currently for us as a global society. Um, also, this may resonate as yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign. All right, Scorpio, what do we got? Oops, that's helpful. Four of Wands, Seven of Wands, yes, Seven of Wands, as I say, no, Six, Seven of Wands, Star Card, boobies, it could be Aquarius, Ace of Pentacles, I like it, Page of Swords, Three of Cups, yay, Nine of Cups, nothing wrong with that, all right, get some water. Let's see. Uh, okay. All right. So there might be some disappointment um, with what's going on now, but it's, I don't know, it's not going to last. Well, obviously not going to last forever because um, you've got you not losing any ground when um, things pick back up again. And this is, Honestly, it like it's like you're like, well, all right, this is a new normal. I'm going to make the most of it here. Um, there's something about this sort of time being under yourself that there's a reset that gets hit. And you might see the situation differently, though, when you come out of it. Specifically, um, a shift into what's important and what's not. Like realizing what the issues are in your life that you can just easily, like after kind of navigating this, priorities are reset and it's like well I don't that's not important to me anymore I don't need this or that it could be with your person or it could just be in your living space so what is what is that all about what's this seven of wands here oh okay good for you it's a star card what's this star card about for Scorpio could be Aquarius. Um, Pisces or Cancerian. The moon. Nice. Okay. Not letting that get you down either. What's this ace? And that's no small feat. What's this ace of pentacles? There's a lot to consider. So it's like whatever's befallen you or happened has kind of had you really take a hard stance on putting yourself first and your needs first and being like, I know what I want in connection now with somebody. I know what I will and won't do because your focus is on home and communal resources and joining together as a community and working in tandem with each other. And you're not willing to compromise on that anymore. You're not willing to go by somebody's direction. The downside of that is it's because you've been betrayed or hurt. So you're just like, uh, uh, try me. But the good side is that you're very clear on your boundaries. Um, and this is kind of letting you do a deep dive on what and how and why things got where they were and also allowing you to do a reset with the focus on what you prioritize. So there's been some disappointment, sadness, and like, dang it, something didn't work out, but it has made you get more firm on what you want in connection with someone and what you value. And you're not mad about this time for a reset here. You're actually kind of glad for the break and to take some you time. So, and across the board, we're seeing that, that people like, it's almost like there's this guilt and acknowledging like, you know, I'm kind of glad for the break. I'm kind of glad that this forces me to just decompress and, and look at things and you don't have to feel guilty about that. Could all do with some time to reflect and think. What's this page of swords? Ah, uh, nope. Don't you do it. Um, let this be time for you to do what is right for you and not have any contact. Don't let this be about secretly wishing or hoping that this person is going to come back around and see things the way you do and reach out with a message of, I want to do the right thing by you. Because it looks like this was kind of a heavy duty betrayal here. Um, 
you really did wish it could be different, but don't, this is, this could be some susceptibility and vulnerability here. Um, if they, if you were to get a message, because it's, you're kind of realizing like what you do and that's information, what you do and don't want, like what and why and how everything that transpired and you're kind of still vulnerable and that can be something that is like easily negotiated or kind of, I hate to say toyed with, but if you do allow contact with someone or something, use this time as, um, whatever you've got, whatever kind of sequester situation or, you know, shelter in place or at home, this is what's showing here is there's a chance to really, um, reprioritize and reconfigure what you want. This isn't about, I don't see much of work here or anything. So this is kind of a primarily focused on a relationship reading. And from what you've been through for the Scorpios that I'm reading for, um, you don't want to do that again. And you also want to figure out what's what. And that's kind of a work in progress. And while you might hope that someone can come back and offer that stability, um, that's for you to create and develop boundaries for. It's not for someone to come along and fix. So this is, this is about you being quite self-sufficient and not secretly wishing or hoping that someone's going to come along with finally realize that they want what you wanted and offer that apology or because truth be told, it's not like you'd want to take it anyway, but the acknowledgement that they were really kind of a jerk would go a long way. Again, though, that could leave you susceptible for leaving that door open for that situation. And it, you're best served not. You're best served um, reestablishing some firm boundaries and letting this creative energy overshadow this fear-based or this sort of getting all kind of wrapped up in that I don't want to say swamp, but that like swamp of sadness or like, no, no, this needs to have some light shown on it here. You don't have to stay there. And what's uncertainty? Because there's an air of kind of mystery and like, and hope for one day. And that's, mm -mm, that needs to be um, transmuted to this, where you're not hoping and waiting, you're developing and creating your own boundaries. And you're creating the focus for your security is on you, not externally on some relationship or someone that still might come along and make something right. And I'm not um, saying that, you know, you're just lying around waiting. But there is something to someone acknowledging, look, I wasn't ready and I, I totally gaslit you and I'm sorry and I was a jerk. That that feels good. Let's be honest. That, that'd be nice if someone said, hey, my bad. You're too good for me. Carry on. You know? What's this? So is this somebody new then that you've got coming in? Because there's someone offering, offering the stability, but are you secretly still thinking about someone else? Because there's two people here. There's two people. So you've got someone that's, no. What's this three of cups? What's three of cups? The devil, that could be Capricorn. All right, hold on a minute. What's this nine of cups? You got a past situation. You could potentially have a new one that's coming. There's a new one coming. Um, but here's the thing. This all had, what's this nine of cups? This all happened, good. Because you, there's something about you being able to tell them no, instead of kind of being cast out or jerked around and then not having done anything with. There's something about, I think that might be why you're wanting them to come back and, um, give a message of sincerity or I'm sorry, or reopen the door so you can shut it down. For the longest time, I think you thought this person was tribe and you thought there was going to be something with them and you waited and you hoped and this and that. And this is you going, okay, I know there's not, I know I'm good. I know I can provide my own security for myself, but it still would feel really good if they were to try and open that door again so that I could be like, no, because for the Scorpios that I'm reading for, it's, and this is kind of oddly specific, but you, you really do want that chance for you to be able to say no, for you to be like, uh-uh, and, and get the, um, get vertical on that. This person really took advantage of your trusting nature and your willingness to wait and your willingness to trust on so little information and so little security. 
And what worries me about this is, okay, you know how when you say like, oh no, if they were to reach out, I would totally tell them no. But then they do and they say all the right things and you start talking again and you throw everything you got at them and they have an answer for it. And so that gets transmuted or translated into, well, they just understand me. They get me like nobody else does. No, it doesn't mean that. It means that this is a game to them and they like besting. They like always having an answer. They like, just like they always liked putting it off on you and saying, well, you shouldn't have um, worn a red shirt. You know how I feel about red. This is someone that can also do the opposite. Whereas no matter what you say, they'll have an answer to make you feel safe and soothed. And it's like, beware the wolf. Beware that you're not letting somebody back in that could potentially make you backpedal again because you think that they understand you like nobody else does. That they just, they have this access that nobody else can. You allow that access. You, you have boundaries that you can enforce and use. This person is not special. You're, you might be making them special. This is somebody that being able to say the right things and do the right things, it's almost like, okay, challenge accepted. You tell them no, they're going to blast through that no. You ask them yes, they're going to go, oh, God, no. So this is not, this person is not tribe. They don't have your best interest at heart. You do and you should. And so this is, you know, well, you might secretly want that message to come through. Uh, -uh. This is teaching you backbone and boundaries. Do not ever let anybody get to you like that person did. And you've gone through it enough to where you can see, oh, here we go again. Oh, no, 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 no. Go get the bug spray. Somebody bring me the raid. No, 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 no. So this is your best course of action, not this, this right here. Because if they get their foot in, you'll never be able, this is the type of person that they're always going to have some kind of access or expect some kind of access. So it's just best not to deal with them at all and just, psh, nope. No acknowledgement, no anything, and maintain your peace of mind and happiness and boundaries. Um, ideally, this was designed to teach you that, you know, that it kind of came along for you to have that second chance to go, no, don't squander it. Because if this one, you know, if you start dancing with the devil again, you're going to get some toes stepped on, to say the least, and it's not going to, it's, you're not going to like the music, you're going to, you know, not be taken home. I mean, it's just, you, you, all right, I'm horrible at analogies. But the point is, is that this, uh-uh. This is about you getting vertical and having boundaries, not about you um, giving someone a second chance or thinking that something that's not toxic or that's that's toxic and not healthy is tribe. Wanting because it feels good when they come back and they say the right things. That feels really good, but it also is hollow. It it hits wrong and it's hollow. So, uh. -uh. And I know that I'm preaching to the choir. I know that. But it also is showing up here. <laughs> it's saying, don't do it. Don't do it. They're going to come back and say, I'm sorry. They're going to do because in about two weeks, watch, the cycle is going to come up again. But this is about doing that beautiful, you know, decisive swords energy and be like, nope. No, it's about me and I'm focused on me and my own security that I'm going to create. I appreciate the apology. You know, now... You know, okay, all right, okay. Because you can't negotiate with this. There's no besting this and there's no, the only way is to not give it an audience, to not entertain it. And you've just got this newfound, um, well, I shouldn't say newfound, but you're, you're starting to create and think about what you want and how you want things and define that connection with someone that, it has the same values, not this. What else for? It could be that they've already reached out to contact you and you're considering because you're like, you know, they are really special only because you give them access. Make them not special. And why should they be after what they didn't do? Uh-uh. What else for Scorpio? For Scorpio. Aww. Okay. And there it is, the Five of Cups. So this is not, um, this is for you to, it's like you're on the other side of it, for you to accept that, you know what, that was pretty crappy, but I got my boundaries in place, I'm good, and I'm on the upside of this now. No backsliding, no backsliding. Um, this is about remembering that this is not, this is going with the flow. Accepting the situation as it is and rebuilding. This is not backtracking, no backtracking. 
This is being at peace with what is and enjoying yourself and creating anew. What else for? I just don't like them having that access or your consideration still. I don't like that. They don't deserve it. What else for? Because it, you're creating a new and it looks good and it looks good and you've got new ideas about what you next time this and that whatever and, and it's almost like how dare this person think they can come back along but then and I know this is where you start throwing things at the screen and you're going to start you know knocking your phone around but why do, sometimes it's because sometimes the arrogance is there to think that oh I can still get access watch other times it's because they're testing and they'll keep testing until they're kind of not responded to or shut down in some way. And I'm not talking about with force. I'm just saying like you simply don't give them an audience. They eventually get bored and, and go elsewhere. Right. But sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it's someone's arrogance. Sometimes it's because someone, you know, there's this, uh, did I give you the impression that it was okay to this and that? Cause if I did my bad, um, don't mistake my niceness for weakness or stupidity. I'm merely not running you over because I don't want to ruin my tires. But, you know, I'm, I'm stopping the card for you to get out of the way because I don't want to... Okay, that's that's a horrible analogy, but you get my idea here. You The whole, um, why are you here? Did I give you the impression I'd be open to this? I'm not. And I want this to be the last time I have to tell you that. Shutting up, sorry. Okay, what else for scoring? Face your fears. Is that what this is? Because I keep feeling like I need to, uh, and is it because you're, you're feeling like, you know what? I, I feel powerless when they come back. Like, I feel like I have to respond. I feel like if I don't, I really am going to be settled in with this despair and sadness over this. And it's going to take me a long time before I feel this way about somebody again. Good. Use that time to heal. That's not an excuse to let somebody who's unkind to you and doesn't respect you back into your life. For what? Shut the door on it. And begin to rebuild anew. What else for? Hmm. I've just said, okay, right. Release the power of fear. That's what it said. This is, this is where you need to stay. Because if you let this back in, it has the potential to, you know, because, well, they're just, just, they understand me. Yeah. That's called manipulation. That, that's that's somebody with an agenda. Of course they understand you. They have to know who their adversary is or who they're dealing with. That's called manipulation and, and you know. That, mm -mm. Okay, so that one's, I'm not going to turn that one all around. Okay, so we've got, oh, God bless it. There, there's that fear of not letting go. That's, that's you not wanting to let go. That This is not having firm boundaries, this is having them, well, just one last thing, or like that petty back and forth, because we're not letting go here, and you need to. This is a situation that needs to be just stopped and dropped and walked away from. Just cut it off, because you're, it's about your happiness and about you being, this is a chance to rebuild um, and start anew. And if you, if you, you know, dance with the devil, you're going to set yourself back again. So as much as it would be nice to hear this message of I'm sorry and this and that, it's going to come with, it, uh -uh. you've made strides, no more opening the door and letting this back in. It's nice that they're, that you don't need their apology. You can forgive them and forgive yourself without that apology. So this is you moving forward, creating a new for yourself and maintaining that. And don't answer that door or that text. You don't need to. You know what they're going to say. You've been here before with them. Mm-mm. And if it's a situation where you have to because of shared, you know, property or, or, you know, kids or family or whatever, insulate yourself. Have people around you. Have someone with you that can kind of stop the machinations or counterbalance any kind of shenanigans that happen if you have to deal with this person. Because you're making strides here. This is you making strides and rebuild, starting to rebuild anew. And typically when you do that, this one comes back around again. No. Leech. Parasite. Uh-uh. Okay, good Lord. Ooh, both barrels on that one. I hope this was helpful. <laughs> Cross watchers, I'm sorry if it doesn't apply. Um, this is for those really just not nice people. So if you're just somebody it didn't work out with, not you.
Thank you for stopping by, Scorpio. Please don't hate me. Um, it is with your best interest in mind. You need to get snapped out of this, and this is where you should be right now. And this is, this is saying that it's assured, but no answering anything. This is negated, and then we're good. So just, you know. Okay. I hope to see you in the next reading. Um, this was a romantic focus here. This was not... This is somebody, for the Scorpios I'm reading for, this is still being focused on the romantic area of your life, not much concerned with everything else because it's probably quite stable. So there's a huge focus on um, the, the stability that this romance provided or the connection with this person provided. And it's centered on the romance. It's not centered on their security or stability that they offered because let's be honest, they didn't. They didn't. This is meager offerings here. So um, you, you can do that for yourself quite self-sufficient. You've had to be because you've only been getting crumbs of love. So, um, there's no, you don't need anything. They have nothing to say to you. Uh -uh. All right. I hope to see you in the next reading. Um, I thank you for stopping by and you keep your head up. Don't answer anything. Just, okay. All right.